That could be something awesome. This could be the cologne I'm here to find. Going in. Baby. Ah, so tiny. Oh, KG, you got something great? I got roundness. I, I ah. saw it. Look how small oh, it is. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, it's got designs on it. No way. Uh, it looks silver. like a horse's head. It is, it's a horse head. That looks old. That could have been a colonial era necklace. KG and I are in Maine. We're on the hunt for cologne, baby. In the 1700s, Maine was the wild northern frontier for the American colonies. Colonists up here had to tangle with the French, Indians, and British. We're gonna have the once in a lifetime opportunity to find a long lost cannon at a colonial fort. But our first stop is the Colburn House, because we're on the trail of America's most famous traitor, Benedict Arnold. We've hunted for artifacts from our country's greatest heroes, like George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Now we want to find something from our country's biggest double crosser. In 1780, Benedict Arnold betrayed America by switching sides to the British, forever making his name synonymous with traitor. But before Benedict Arnold became our most notorious turncoat, he was actually an American war hero. In 1775, this house was uh, the headquarters and the staging point for Benedict Arnold and his uh, attack on Quebec. Arnold arrived here in 11 big ships with 1,150 men who offloaded into small boats. It'd be awesome to find a big old ax they used or an anchor for one of those boats, but the ultimate would be anything that could have belonged to Benedict Arnold. 